more DIY solar projects. If you have solar, chances are you need to monitor a current at some point and turn a relay on when it's over a certain value. Uh, here's a very simple current sense you can make with two LM431s or TL431s. Uh, in the circuit, we're using this piece of metal here as the uh, current shunt. Uh, you could use an old hacksaw blade. This is a piece of uh, weather stripping for a door. I just happened to find it's tin plated, maybe tin completely, but it's a nice little shunt. And we produce with a 5 amp current uh, 10 millivolts across that, which is a very low voltage burden. Now here's that resistor right here. This LM431 is set to 2.5 volts and sits upon that resistor. And so when it draws a load, it's 2.5 volts plus this voltage. Now this other 431 will turn on at 2.5 volts. So we have a little voltage divider here to uh, basically increase that voltage a little bit. Because these may not actually be the same, so you'll need to have a little bit higher voltage higher voltage turn on. So this pot can be adjusted from uh, 10 millivolts up to about 120 millivolts turn on which is a very low voltage burden. You know you can use standard shunts or just you know build your own. So right now we're at uh, 13 volts there's no current we're going to turn that on and you see the relay turns on turns on turns off with that 5 amp current and on the meter you can see it's 10.4 millivolts that it's sensing that meter is right across these two terminals so it's fairly simple to build you have a little filter capacitor here to prevent uh, false trips a little display LED uh, a relay you want to have about 500 ohms or more. Uh, again, this can be scaled up to uh, 24 volts if you want. Very simple circuit. Uh, works flawlessly. So uh, these LM431s, I buy them by the hundreds and they're only like four cents each. And they're a built-in 2.5 volt reference source. So this is something that anyone can build. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.